hello friends welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i used my first aid uh, for the step one preparation okay uh, so basically you ha you yeah, the first aid information are very 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 important for step one uh, preparation but uh, you also need to know some concepts from your world and also from other question banks so it is very important to add those information into your first aid so that at the last hour revision you can uh, easily go through all those stuff that you learned throughout the preparation period okay first of all i would like to show this page marker which i put in different sections and uh, i would easily navigate through the different sections whenever i needed for example if i did some question on dermatology i would simply see this uh, written over here and i would navigate to that um, section and see the respective uh, topic which i just did uh, in my q bank and read about that information if i need to okay in the very beginning of the preparation, I knew that I will have to add a lot of information from different resources, for example, UL. So I, I purposefully added a loose sheet in between all the first eight pages. So you can see here I have added this page and this is for, for the whole book. Okay, so I have added a loose sheet after each page. Okay, and, uh, and what I would do in that page is that I would add information from the um, relevant information related with the, um, with the uh, page on the corresponding side okay for example if there is if uh, suppose for example here you can see i have uh, drawn this picture and this picture is from u world as you can see i have labeled u over here so this is related with duodenal atresia which is in this side of the book okay so this way i have uh, i have annotated my whole uh, whole book uh, so that the relevant related information will will be uh, present on the side of the respective pages next whenever i would come across any information for example here uh, this information was asked in a question bank i would simply write the name of that question bank where it was asked for example here i have written u world that means this information was asked in uh, u world so so basically while i am revising the first aid i am also revising the u world okay and anything that i had to add in this i would simply write over here uh, on the on this side of the uh, of the page which i which i already said uh, about the loose city stuff okay and also you can see here i have written nbme which means that this question uh, this information was asked in nbme so this kept me uh, kept me going uh, with the feel that i was revising all other stuff like for u world or nbmes um, next when i when i was reading through the through the book uh, if if i put a marker a mark like this uh, asterisk or something like that that means i have to refer to the this side of my book okay this side of the book where where i have uh, added relevant information for example if i have uh, asterisk with pink color then i would simply refer to the asterisk of the pink color and i will find the relevant added information from other resources for example here we are uh, seeing superior mesenteric artery syndrome so if there is anything other than this okay anything other than this which i have have to add i would simply add in this side of the page and this way i could relate with with the both side of information okay for topic like cancer drugs there was no um, sketchy farm videos and so i made my own uh, my own sketchy cartoon over here uh, for the respective drugs for example here you can see for cyclophosphamide i have drawn this cycle and i have added all the information relevant with this drug uh, on the side on the corresponding side of the uh, drug in the first aid okay for example here is cyclophosphamide so i would uh, i would write anything related with cyclophosphamide any cartoon that i have made uh, related with cyclophosphamide on the corresponding side and here also you can see all these drugs for all these drugs i have made a cartoon okay and if you have also seen other videos of my channel then you can see how i have uh, you know um, made cartoon for for different topics and memorize those topics okay by the help of that cartoon Finally, I would also write the page number, number of pages for each rep respective uh, chapters so that I would know that how much time it will uh, take to finish those uh, sections. And I would also, uh, you know, revise the revise those sections in order so that uh, just for example, if I'm taking my practice test on Saturday, I would I would see uh, subjects like microbiology, biochem and uh, biostat and ethics uh, just uh, two days before. OK, so that this order was very important and I would particularly know which uh, sections to spend more time on okay and that was very helpful to make my schedule